Hi everyone, my name is Katie from Learning Resources. Today we're going to do a short yoga class on the floor focusing on a deep stretch and a slow flow. Find yourself in a supported seat that can be crisscross applesauce, easy pose, or you can come up onto your knees and hero's pose if that's more comfortable. Option to keep your eyes open or you can close them as we begin to breathe together. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling. Taking one more together, inhale and exhale. On your next breath, you can extend the exhale, maybe six or seven seconds with a five second inhale or whatever pace is comfortable. Trying to follow this breath as it goes in and out of the body, connecting the head and the body. As you're breathing, if you find the mind wander, pull it back. If you keep returning to the same thought, accept it and let it go. This is your time. Take three more extended breaths. After the third extended exhale, you can return your breathing to normal and we'll take one more together, inhaling and exhaling. If you find your breath not on the same pace as me, that's completely fine. Just go at your own pace. This is your class. I'm just here to guide you. We'll start by warming up the joint, starting with the neck so you can go in a small circle in one direction. If this hurts or is uncomfortable, you can just hold your neck to the side, starting with the right. You can do a static warm up instead of a dynamic circle. Switch directions or turn towards the left. Bring this movement down into the shoulders, going forward, or you can just go up and down. And switch or continue to go up and down. You can extend the arms out, making circles with the wrists, options to keep the elbows bent so you can go on a windshield wiper motion. And switch. Good, you can pull the arms in. I'm gonna turn sideways, extend the legs out. You can keep your heels on the mat or go all the way down, making circles with the ankles. Switching directions. If you're familiar with yoga, you might not be used to doing this joint warm up, but I think it's the most important part, even if you're doing a slow class. Any activity is activity. So I'm gonna turn back around and we're gonna begin with our warm up by inhaling the arms overhead, holding here for three, two, one, exhaling down to the right side, holding here for three, two, one, inhale to center, hold, exhale, left side. For three, two, one, inhale to return, doing the same thing again, exhaling down, holding now for six, five, four, three, two, one, inhale and exhale. For six, five, four, three, two, one, one, inhaling to center, last time, exhaling down. This time we're holding for nine, and as you inhale, reach with your raised arm, and as you exhale, you can come lower to the mat. For nine, eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, one. Inhale to center and exhale down. Inhale to reach, exhale to sink, feeling that side stretch for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale to center, exhaling, right hand comes behind the body, left hand comes to the right knee, spinal twist. Focusing on the torso, not so much the neck. Inhale to center, arms come back overhead, other side, left hand comes behind the body, right hand comes to the left knee. Inhale to center, coming back, right hand comes behind, left hand comes to the knee. Option to hold here, or if you wanna deepen the twist, you're gonna put that left shoulder forward, right shoulder comes back, being mindful of the neck. Return to the center, right arm crosses over onto the left knee, coming into a twisted seated cat cow. So inhaling, pulling forward, chin comes up, tailbone goes in, and exhale, cat pose. Inhale, cow, you can use your arms to pull yourself forward. And exhale, cat, pushing away, chin comes to chest, tailbone goes in. Last time, inhaling, cow. And exhaling, cat. Inhale, releasing the arms, bringing them overhead. Left arm comes down, right arm, left knee. Same thing, to deepen, you're gonna press the right shoulder forward. Left shoulder comes back. Left arm crosses over onto the right knee, doing three more twisted seating cat cows. And remember, as you're following along, you don't have to go at the same pace I am. Exhaling, cat. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. One more time, I think, inhaling for cow, and exhaling for cat. Releasing the arms, bringing them back overhead, holding here for three, two, one. Dropping the elbows, cactus arms parallel with the shoulders. For another three, two, one. Staying here, or option to take a slight back bend. Arms come back, chin lifts, chest comes forward. You can feel your tailbone lifting for three, two, one. Bring the arms behind the back. I'll turn sideways again. Hands are together. Taking this shoulder, shoulder stretch. The higher you lift your arms, the more intense you'll feel it. Exhaling to release the hands and coming back, putting the opposite thumb on top, countering the pose, trying to keep the palms together for three, two, one, excellent. Releasing the arms, putting them right next to the bottom, extending the legs out. Good, so your feet are gonna be flexed, the heel's gonna come off the ground slightly. Hands can either be flat, if your arms are long enough, or up on their fingertips, staff pose. Holding here for three, two, one, and relax, dropping the legs down. Taking a second one, flexing the feet, chest is out for three, two, one, and relax. Taking another one for the final time, feet are flexed, chest is forward, trying to hold this pose. You should be feeling it in the calves, as well as the top of the thighs on the quads, and relax. Arms come down the leg, seated forward folds, Letting your hand stop where it's comfortable so your back is still straight. You don't want to hunch over. Just having a nice hinge right here in the joint. 
And we're gonna begin to hold these poses for longer, coming into the deep stretch portion. Remembering to breathe. Doing what feels good. Inhale to come back, bringing the feet together, butterfly pose. Starting with the hands on the shins or maybe on the knees, back straight. We're gonna hold here for another 10. If you have any props with you, you can put something underneath your knees if this is uncomfortable, or you can always extend the legs out more. Exhale, bringing the legs out, hands come forward now. Feeling this more in the hip and in the groin. Inhaling, coming back up to center, extending the legs into a straddle. Let's see here, we're gonna go this way. Yoga is a practice, not a performance. Again, go to where the legs are comfortable. Hands can be here or slightly further down or just right in the middle. You wanna start with a straight back so you're feeling it mostly in the legs. Exhale, coming forward, hands slide down the middle. Again, like with butterfly, you'll start to feel this more in the groin and the inner thigh. Maybe you can widen the stance. Inhale to return, starting with our right leg, right foot comes to the left thigh. Knee to nose pose, sliding the arms down. You can hold on to the foot or the shin. If you wanna deepen the stretch, you can raise your right arm and come forward. You might feel it more in the side than in the leg with this arm variation. Inhale to return. Right leg comes out, left foot comes into the right thigh. Same thing, you can slide the arms down. If you wanna deepen, you can raise the left arm and come forward. Each side of the body is different, so this side might be easier, it might be harder. harder. Meet your body where it is. You can always have a slight bend, a micro bend in that knee to make it easier. Inhale to center, left leg comes out, returning to that straddle. You should find that your legs naturally come a little further apart, that's great. We're gonna go the opposite way now, so starting down, hinging forward, holding for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling back to a straight spine, Hands here or in the middle for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Feet come together, butterfly pose. Starting out for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, inhaling, straight spine, 
Holding here. Excellent, send the legs out, turn sideways again. Returning to that seated forward fold. Sliding the arms down, just like with straddle and with butterfly, you can come further. You can always keep your hands on the floor too. Last tension in the shoulders. Remembering to do what feels good for you. Here for another five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, straight spine, bringing the right leg over the left. You can hold on with both arms or just one and we're gonna turn in the opposite direction. Another spinal twist, but you should be feeling it in your legs, the bottom of the leg, the hamstring, as well as the back. Here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Option to stay here for another 10, or you can bring your left leg in so that both feet are close to the bottom, holding on to the shin, straight back for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Untwist the leg, sending them back. Can take a little shake here and then bringing the other leg over. So left comes over right now. Holding with both arms are one, turning the opposite direction. Holding here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Option to stay here for another 10 or right foot can come in. You should have your knees in as close as, a, close as an alignment as you can. Feet can come further out in order to do so. Here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Releasing the legs. Taking another shake here. We're going to come onto our backs, taking pigeon pose. If you're familiar with pigeon, you can always take it on your mat. Good, let me wiggle down. So starting with the right leg over the left, you can lift the left leg up. You can hold here in a figure four, or you can extend it all the way, whatever feels better. Holding pigeon for several breaths. It can be an intense hip opener, so adjust the left leg accordingly, or you can press your right ankle into that left leg in order to open it up from the bottom. If you're a runner, this is a great pose to remember. Taking three more breaths here. Releasing the right leg, left leg comes over, pulling the right thigh in. Again, you can pull that leg in closer to feel it in the hip or press the left ankle against the right thigh. And we're gonna hold here. Take another three breaths here.
On your next exhale, you can release the left leg. Both feet come onto the mat. You can have your hands on either side of the foot or directly behind the heels coming into our bridge series. So on the count of three, we're gonna lift the hips in three, two, one. Holding here, your, your legs into your chest should be in a straight line. Pressing the knees out, glutes are tight. For five, four, three, two, one. Lowering down slowly, trying to keep that tightness in the lower body. And we'll go again in three, two, one. Option to stay here, or you can clasp your hands underneath. This will push your shoulders forward, opening up the chest. Try and keep the palms together or as close as you can. We're here for five, four, three, two, one. Release the hands, coming all the way down. Taking this one more time in three, two, one. Coming all the way up. You can stay here, take that hand variation, or another option, you can come up onto your toes, walking close to the center of the body. And we're here for five, four, three, two, one. Dropping the heels, dropping the lower body. Getting situated, your shoulders should both be on the mat, hips both on the mat, equal placement. Bringing the legs in. And hug them into your chest and rock back and forth, massaging the spine. I'm a little restricted in my rocking, but you guys can rock all the way. Good, hugging them in one more time, rolling over to the right side, knee on top of knee, arms out in a T if you have enough space, or you can rest on the chest. Gaze is in the opposite direction, supine spinal twist. If you wanna deepen this twist, you can take that top leg, left foot comes on top of the right knee, and then you can hold the leg down with your right arm. This will make the sensation go into the back of the thigh, maybe up the back. If it's too much, lower it. Inhale to center, bringing the legs back, hugging them into the chest once more, dropping them over to the left side. Again, gaze comes in the opposite direction. If you wanna deepen this, same thing as the other side, top leg comes up, right foot goes onto that left knee, holding the leg down. This is one of those poses where you, write, you might really feel a difference. Here for another three, two, one. Coming back to the center, hugging the legs in once before extending them out long. Arms come overhead, take a full body stretch, pointing the toes, reaching with the fingers, and relax. Bringing the hands to the right corner of the mat and the legs to the right corner of the mat. Left arm and left leg can come over, coming into the banana pose, feeling this stretch on the left side body. Here for five, four, three, two, one. Coming back to center, taking a second full body stretch. Again, reaching with the arms, pointing the toes, walking over to the left corners. Right hand and right foot can cross over now. Banana pose on the other side. You can begin to slow your breathing. Bringing the mindness to that breath. 
Coming back to the center, taking one more full body stretch. This time, try bouncing the heels off of the floor, tightening everything. You can really feel every muscle. And relax, arms come to either side as we settle into Savasana. Final resting pose. If you have any lower back pain or discomfort, you can always bring your legs in as if we were going to take bridge again. Scooch the booty out slightly. The lower back is closer to the floor now. Hands can still rest on the side or on the abdomen. And we'll rest here for several breaths in Savasana. If you liked the breathing exercise in the beginning, the extended breath, you can take that here. Finding the best way to still the mind. And if you can't still the mind, you can hold the mind. Please hold Savasana as long as you wish, but if you're ready to end the class with me, you can roll over onto your favorite side, using your arm as a pillow for your head. And resting here before you're ready to come up. Return to a supported seat, kicking out that top leg, lifting up with your arm. Good, we'll take one more breath together, inhaling and exhaling. Thank you guys for joining me today. Namaste.